is topic number three tonight. Is a little bit lengthy, but we'll get through it. The importance and richness of African languages. Language doesn't just serve the purpose of trade, but serve the purpose of orientation and consciousness. Notice how one word has an entire subtext beneath it. This came with a link to Twitter. Let me share my screen. My computer is acting up. That's why I'm not playing the videos during the conversation. Uh, you guys should be able to see this, I assume. Yeah. Uh, on Twitter, there's this tweet from Fanti Space that says how we got the word uh, Conconsa, I'm assuming, Conconsa. Uh, this comes with a video, two minute, 20 second video. I'll play it twice to make sure everyone gets the full context of the video. Come with your being in the being in the world, we are Papa B. Enna on your number or ho. The number by Mabu Ocaso was our worry. In the Nibapa Uncle Gayman. The Nibapa then I suppose Katia and Iadi, Uncle Yam Quasiani, the Abbas said a good pillow worry, as may me, as all may play me, Timidwasi. Papa, Papa, <laughs> Or men, young and Hoya, intimate men go home. Nay, inside the No cartilage. And our child from Korea or sign called Barnes in Papa Hall, Miss Ocacadamans or the Chip Papanusu. Intimate go for being who have been in Capitu. So, although they are worried, so uncool, so unsealed. And I want to walk away and walk on there, yet you know who they are. Okay, uh, I seem to stop abruptly. Let me see if there's another part to it. Okay, there's another part. I'll play the next part now. <laughs> I went to see Mokako Bohina, Concord, 
na abra fu no bai wo ba ro wo fa no ko wo ko ye man na abra fu wo ba abra nche wo no ko ai wo ko kunu no wo kunu ye no ba no na ye wie ma ko kunu wie o le yi se ma kunu ja wo tu twa ne nsa no ne nsa no mu tu twa na wo fa bi mbo ba hin ja no wo tu kebi su wo fa mbo bo aye aye fe na aye krom am obe le hu na wo hu se kon kon ne se na obo ho no Hallelujah. And what you try, what Yanis Sam will like another, or Hilika another. One will go, and she all would tie, and I'll call her. I'll be a some nice woman, coffee, and I won't go. What's a concornesa? In the world, Cabohon. Concornesa, and the world, Cabohon. Concornesa, and the world, Cabohon. And then I cut such a concornesa. No one cuts it. So, uh, so I think everyone was able to to see that it's a it's it's a little longer, so I'm not gonna play. It. Oh, oh. Oh, damn it. Hold on. Uh, that's an interesting story. That's an interesting story because, uh, and I think it was Trigger who who posted this on the Discord. By the way, join the Discord. Uh, the link is in the description, and you can post your topics to. Uh, that could be aired on Shoot the Breeze. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this. Like, I, I don't know if Juana knows this, but the Grenadians have a term that I realize must be derived from this. It's a, it's kind of a new thing to me. They have a term called a coon coon. So they'll watch you and they'll say, this man is a big fucking coon coon, right? And basically that word involves, the way they use it, it kind of involves like being a gossip. Now that I watched this video, I kind of understand it. I, I think that's pretty interesting. Uh, so should it be topic number three is the importance and richness of African languages. Language doesn't just serve the purpose of trade, but serves the purpose of orientation and consciousness. Notice how one word has an entire, what's it, subtext to it, uh, or, or subtext beneath it. Uh, Real Black Gentleman, what did you get from that? Th those two videos? Well, I missed the first one, right? But I kind of caught the, the 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 end of the second one, um. So I'm I'm not too sure about the context. That's that's the problem. I mean, I wasn't really paying attention. I tried to turn away, and then I came back, and I'm like, oh shoot, I missed half of what what was going on. Um, okay, okay. I won't I won't say anything because I won't I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have any context to really say. I will just I'll, I'm just going to listen to what everyone else had to say. All right, let me go to one. I, I I wish I did. That's that's the thing. Oh, I, I, no, it, it was beautiful in in him describing how just words, just words, just simple words have so much in depth meaning. And and he, he I think he's a, what they call a griot. So I think that he could he is he is go all, all into the ontology if that's the right word I'm using. Um an epistle epistemon epistemology, I, I can't remember the word. But he goes in depth in the understanding of the meaning of that word and where it comes from, you know, to, to clearly define to his people, you know, to convey, okay, well, we use this particular word and this is the meaning for this word. You know, he's almost like a, a people, we have a Collins dictionary, you know, he is that one uh, oral dictionary because he references, you know, historically why we use that word. So people have a greater understanding of what their culture is. You know, I, we have vestiges of some 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 of these different things, but we don't know the the where it comes from and the meaning behind these words. You know, what is why people say mother sex? You know what I mean? Why why, why Jamaicans say bomba clad? Yeah, it's like who who was the first person to come up with that term? You know, why do they use that term? You know, where is where's that different? I think that that is a piece that is missing in for us in the Western world. That's some of the things we may have lost, and the fact that. He is actively standing up, like almost like a dictionary, oral dictionary, you know, a thesaurus, 
going and referencing the meaning and the terms of these words, I think it's a beautiful thing to do. I don't know where he get hallelujah in his language, you know, because hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah may not be our freaking term. I don't know. Maybe Miss Vito will fight me on that one. But um, um, I, I just think that it's beautiful the fact that he is, you know, really trying to solidify and define uh, all the certain cultural aspects. I, you even can learn aspects of law in what he was saying when he said that, you know, if you don't do these things, this will be a pe penalty and punishment. I'm saying, wow. I'm saying, man, you just one slight slip and you dead. <laughs> and I, and I think that I think that even law and governance in these societies were extreme. But you learn that through through his story. It's telling a story. It's many takeaways. You learn how law was structured. You know, if you offend the king in any way, if you can't, if you can't answer him, there'll be executioners to, to take care of that situation. Also, what you take away from that is the consequences that, that, that Koku was talking about earlier. The consequences of you not doing a particular thing. Here are these consequences. We have these executioners over here. If you don't fulfill the terms of, of your role in society. Also, the fact that being a backbiter, being a gossiper, these are things we will shun within the, in the society itself. So there are so many different takeaways, even in, in him just telling the story itself. I think that there's a beauty in that, but you really have to pay attention. So next time, um, I'll be I'll be to pay some attention so he can get some takeaways too. But I'll just leave it there. <laughs> I'll be watching the fight probably. Uh, Oni, what, what, how do you feel about that? And how do you respond to the prompt? Yeah, so... Um... You, you saw what I said about, you know, you have laws in Africa, you know, like you have laws by black people because peep, peep, peep how they said, look, you lying about somebody else's woman could get you killed. That's your ass. You can't, you can lie about anybody's woman here in America. This white boy's not going to kill you over that shit. You know, he might kill you over lying about his woman. But if I go and say, you know, so-and-so's woman, you know what I mean? That there ain't no, there ain't no, there ain't no consequences, and I mean, I mean, and you might be like, oh well, you know, we should do the consequences ourselves. Like I said, it's different when the laws are on your side versus when the laws are not. Because when the laws are on your side, you get shit where people can't even talk about your woman. People can't even talk about your woman. That's what he was saying. Because dude was walking around Con Con, I guess, uh, was walking around talking about man, I, I done slept with your woman. Which is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't nothing. Like, right now, I'll be, sometimes I, because uh, cause that guy keeps coming at me, I come at him sometimes. So this is brother, um, x -Bot, right? He's a good brother, right? But he sometimes come after me, I sometimes come after him. But what they said is that in Africa, if we had our own black laws in place, and I, let's say, you know, he come after me or I come after him, right? That's it. For one of us. But 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 we don't want that system. We the, the people here in America, the people here in America, what we do is we let this white boy write all of our laws. And then we like, oh shit, shit sucks. Shit sucks for us. Well, of course it is. Cause because this white boy's not your friend. You know, uh so but you know, on on, on in relation to the prompt, you know, this is another thing I was saying about. This is how people create deities. You know? Like a lot of what we call African spirituality, a lot of what we call religion is just stories. Stories for kids. Stories I'm thinking that. Yeah, we don't even know if this Khan Khan situation even happened. You know? We just know this guy is telling us a story about why the word, like Khan Khan's fingers, right? And maybe Khan Khan was a real person. We don't know if this situation, we don't know if the description of the situation is as it went down, right? We just know he's telling us a story and he's passing it down to the future. Uh, he's, uh, sorry, he's passing it down from generation to generation. In another civilization or another time period, this people, Kong Kong would be the deity of, of, of gossip, the nature of gossip, the release of gossip, gossip. That's it, right? But, 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 but these people, this particular group, I guess in, 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 in uh, uh, you know, Asante, land or, or you know among the tree whatever right but these people they just said okay no it's not going to be a date it's just going to be we're going to pass this off but like for now it's just a historical conversation you know for now it's just a, a historical relic 
you know, retold so that children can learn not to gossip. We don't, we don't, we don't know any like we don't like like and, and I mean I guess you know I don't know if the, the 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 question is really saying well look language is more than um well sorry you took it off let me see language is more than um the purpose of trade or whatever um but you know also consciousness and so on and so forth you know and I mean yeah sure you know uh, I don't I sure you know like way I look at trade um I feel like trade is very um core to our experience as human beings because at the end of the day we cannot um like we can't really be independent as human beings right and so a lot of our existence revolves around trade we just don't call it trade you know so um like like first you even you even trying to get a woman right um call, comes back to that you know because 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 even think about what was really done like like if you look at it like you can look at it from a perspective of, hey, look, trade is different from um, orientation is different from consciousness. Or you can look at it like everything is a big trade. You know, everything is about relationships, if you will. Right. You, you, you can kind of do that. I don't I mean, obviously, language has um, bigger purposes than trade, I think. Um, so I don't I don't know. I don't, I don't really I don't really know. Why the question is like that? Uh, why it says language doesn't just serve the purpose of trade? Because like obviously, you know. Uh, but at the same time, it's like, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I I could appreciate the 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 richness, but like I said, we don't even we don't even know. We just know that this guy's telling a good story, and 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 it has its roots, and and that's fine. But I, I don't like I I, I think it's a it. that's all I can say. Thank you for that, Oni. And also, thanks for tying it back to other conversations. That's what I like about Shrin Debris, when we could tie it back to things. But I will say, like I said at the start, I wish there was a Grenadian on the panel or, or in the chat. But, uh, you know, I since I've been in, in New York, I've been a, around a lot of different Caribbean peoples. And I, I, I look at the things that overlap where I'm from with them and, and things that don't. And I, this term, he's saying concon, but they they call it kun kun. And I, I bet you most of them don't even know that it comes from, you know, this region of, of Africa, and that it's a, and that it's a it's a it's a carryover. And, and I think that's the point of the prompt is that when you, I guess you could say re-Africanize yourself in terms of language. Two, it reorients you to your culture. So I, I think, wh whereas if you practice in this English shit, like uh, Obadale Cambon wrote about in that in that one paper, you know, you naming your children these English names that mean all sorts of wild shit, and then you wonder why, you know, uh, you know why things aren't going the way they're supposed to be going because you're naming. You know, there's, there's the importance of naming and the importance of language. I think that's what what uh, Trigger is trying to get at in this uh, in this prompt. Uh, Real Black Jeremy, you heard what everyone had to say. If you want to add a few words, you can, or I could just move on if there's no other last words. Well, I mean, if it if it's a, <laughs> if it's indeed true that like it's just a story, I mean. I get it. I mean, I kind of caught the N words, like the difference between the N, the essay and the NSA. Like, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 you know, it's like, you, you know, you want to pay attention because if you gossip, right, and you don't get the whole story, you wind up telling bad information. You run around. I heard something. I, I, I got to tell someone I heard something, but you didn't hear all of it. Yeah, you got to, you don't want to be a gossiper. You, you want to, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, there's no reason to, to jump the gun about things. You know, it's important to teach kids not to be the first one person to tell someone things sometimes. I guess, you know what I'm saying? That's my little two cents. So I'm sure Oni would agree. Oni would agree with this. I, and Because I remember, I'm remembering my brother Zuli when he said that stories are very important, sometimes more important than most things. Stories are extremely important. Extremely important in the Western world. The Western world believes that somebody can come out of the clouds one day, bust yeah, and make everything, you know, good on earth. And people live 
their whole lives, you know, create whole cultures around these kinds of philosophies and ideas. And I think that it's good to have our own story, well, have our own version of how the story should be, you know, because you're orienting yourself in the world in a, in a particular way and manner. But I'll just leave it there. I don't want to, I'll just be brief. All right, I was in another tab trying to look up something, but uh, I guess that conversation ended. All right, if there's no the last words, we'll go to Shubri's topic number four. But that was a good, that was a good real uh, topic there. I, I like that video. Trigger Happy 262 said he think that word is in Jamaica also. I never heard it from Jamaicans. Perhaps it is. But um, I, I know for sure I've heard it from Grenadian people. Um. Maybe Sister Raw, who's in the chat now, greeting Sister Raw. Maybe she's familiar with the word kumkun, uh, being that she is Jamaican and in Jamaica. Uh, but I, like I said, I wish a Grenadian was here to to corroborate my story. In the meantime, though, let's go to shoot a brief topic number four. For time's sake, I'm not going to do a station ID break, but you you guys know. Check out all the shows. I, I did hear from Tanzan briefly. Um, she's dealing with some things, so that's why you haven't heard from her uh, in a while. But she she should be back. Uh, should be 